The Scion FRS is sort of like a Japanese Mustang. I really enjoyed the front engine rear drive sport coupe. Our test model was a 2014 edition that still has a keyed ignition. I had to keep reminding myself to take the key out of my pocket or the car wasn't going anywhere. Speaking of going places, if your trip involves backing up, the FRS does not have a rear view camera. I kept looking down at the center stack before remembering that if I put my arm around the passenger seat and turn my head around, that was really high def. Although I felt like I was using driver's ed skills since almost every new car will soon be required to have a backup camera. Does anyone else remember how to do hand signals for left turn, right turn, and stop? And if you did hand signals out the window, would anyone behind you under the age of 70 know what you're doing? At least our test car was outfitted with bespoke custom audio. That $1,200 option included navigation. We noticed during our rather long stretch on the highway that an armrest is not standard on the FRS. It's worth the extra $249 for the factory armrest, even in the six-speed. While I don't think I would call the Scion Spartan, I did notice that the website for the FRS lists sun visors as standard equipment. I would never accuse anyone of padding their resume, but still. And for a car aimed at people born after the Soviet Union became Russia again, I would think the Toyota parent company would sprinkle a few more USB ports around the car. The Scion we tested only had one USB port, but it did have a cigarette lighter port, so I guess you could stop by a truck stop and buy an adapter for some more charging capability. The 2-liter 4-cylinder engine generates 200 horsepower. That power plant should get you from 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds, according to Edmunds.com. The Scion FRS with the 6-speed manual is rated at 22 miles per gallon in the city and 30 on the highway. The gas tank on this 2,700-pound car is only 13.2 gallons. Well, I enjoy driving a manual transmission, I'm starting to feel like I'm lamenting the passing of the crank start. While the 6-speed gearbox isn't as smooth as some competitors, I would still enjoy it over an automatic transmission. Luckily, one thing that was manual on the 2014 but is automatic on the 2015 is headlights. I forgot cars still come with manual headlights, but luckily I figured it out before nightfall. If you're thinking about buying one of these for your teenager, rest assured the back seat functions as birth control. But if your kid is still in a car seat, Cooper, Connor, or Chloe will fit just fine. I also like the alleged back seat. It's a place for purses or backpacks. That's something sorely missing on some of the true two-seaters, which is enough to stop some people from buying one. While many drivers spend a lot of time alone at the wheel, leaving their briefcase or clutch on the passenger seat, if you actually score a date, asking them to sit with your stuff on their lap for the whole date is enough to send anyone back to Tinder or Grindr. Speaking of smartphones, though, the seatbelt sensor on the Scion is kind of sensitive. It wanted me to belt in my new iPhone 6 every time I put it on the passenger seat. And I know the new phone is larger, but it's not that heavy. I had to take the phone off the passenger seat and find another place to store it while driving or face the constant beeping and flashing of the passenger seatbelt warning. I thought the handling, especially the steering, was incredibly responsive for a car in this price range. While I found the overall tuning and configuration to be sporty, a friend of mine found it jarring and rough around the edges. Then again, a German sports sedan is his daily driver, and he's used to something which costs 20 grand more than the Scion. The base price for the 2014 FRS was a little under 25 grand. Options on our test car included navigation, a rear spoiler, fog lights, and $69 for a rear bumper applique. I don't know why people would pay for a sticker advertising the name of their car, but I guess some do. Our total price as tested was $27,611. I'm Grant Winter, reporting for Real World Test Drive.